going on YouTube it's Manny here dropping another video for you guys in this video I'm just gonna be doing a shape up here I had a request for a lineup so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, just so that you guys know I used a number two around the sides of this client's hair and I'm just prepping the uh, shape up with some uh, some hairspray I use uh, trust me normally um, I want to say it's trust me number three this one is four but i use three uh i want to say it's climate protection i just feel like the uh the hold on that is is one of the better holds um so i'm going to just kind of guide you through a shape up which isn't difficult but if you don't have much experience on it you know what i mean it can get a little tricky so a lot of times what you're going to be doing is you're just going to be using the edge of the trimmer or the uh the corner of it Pretty much during the whole uh, shape up um, going around the ears I'm using the corners uh, to do my arches I'm going to be using my corners um, even just removing the hair from around the ears you just see me and I'm, I'm using my corners basically the whole time All right, so now I'm gonna be uh, giving myself a, a reference point here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of mark off exactly where I want the top of the arch to be. And then I'm gonna mark off the, um, the, the edge of the sideburn here. And then all I'm gonna do is just connect the, uh, the lines, that's it. So I marked off the, um, the top portion of the arch and, or the C cup and the, um, the side of it, the side of the uh, sideburn. And just connected it most of the time like I said just using the uh, corner of the blades as you see here I'm using the corner of the blade as well so it came out fairly simple um now what the hairspray does is it actually holds the hair in place so you don't have to fuss with it too much as far as brushing and um, you know cutting and brushing and cutting and brushing and cutting I mean you can spray it brush it down and for the most part every hair that you need to be in place will be in place All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use some color enhancements. Um, I use Kiss Express and I mix it with uh, with alcohol just to kind of thin it out a little bit, dilute it. And you can see uh, the Kiss Express makes the hairline pop. Like, you know what I mean? Just kind of makes it stand out a bit. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow it up with um, some hair fibers. So what that does is, normally if you use, uh, you know, a semi-permanent hair color, it leaves almost like a bit of a shine when you apply it. So you just go back over top with the hair fibers and it gives it a more um, natural look. I'm just go ahead and touch, uh, touch everything up with my, uh, my trimmer again. And uh, then I'm just gonna go ahead and blade it, and you'll see the you know the result on on this side is is pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just follow the same uh, procedure on the other side, and on the front I'm just gonna kind of uh, pull those baby hairs down so I can create a, a line for them. Um, but for the most part, I mean that's that's basically it. It's just a lot of corners, corner of the trimmer, just to get the the shape that you want. So I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys watch the remainder of the video. Um, if you guys have any questions on the video, drop a comment. Let me know. Um, if you want, you know, something a little bit more detailed in regards to certain things that I do during the, uh, the shape up, you know, go ahead and comment below. And let me know. And I'll go ahead and try to provide you with, uh, with some content that would be helpful to, uh, to you guys.
you know thank you guys for uh continuously supporting and watching and appreciate it greatly um and just be on the lookout for some more videos man Thank you.